Hey guys, it's Adrian. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm here to bring you a tag video. I have not done a tag video in quite some time, so I thought that it was a good time to do one. And I saw this video on Sarah from Sarah's Nightstand's channel, so I thought that I would do it. And that is the March Mystery Madness tag. This one was created by Elizabeth from Lizzie Faye Loves Books. And because it's March Mystery Madness, along with Middle Grade March, I have been doing mystery books this month, among other things. So I thought, what a perfect time to do the tag. So the way that this tag works is there are prompts for each of the three words from March Mystery Madness. So in total, six questions. Not so bad. First off is the word March. And there are two prompts for this. First off is show a book that has green on the cover. I'm going to go with Wicked by Gregory Maguire. This is green. Wicked Witch. This, I don't know anything about it, except I know that it's a musical that I have not yet seen because I'm a terrible person. The second one is an ode to St. Patrick's Day, which I thought was really funny, and then it shows a book that has little people in it. Well, obviously, The Hobbit, the ultimate little people. The next two prompts have to do with the word mystery, and the first one is recommend a mystery book. I'm actually going to recommend you the mystery book. I think this is a mystery book. I don't know if it actually technically categorizes as mystery, but whatever. I thought it was a mystery book. And so that's the one that I read for March Mystery Badness, and that's allegedly by Tiffany D. Jackson. I did this one on audio, and it was really, really good. This book is about a girl named Mary, and Mary has allegedly committed the crime of murdering a three-month-old baby when she was nine years old. She was sent to prison, and now she's released, and she's in a group home. And so it kind of tells the story of Mary's life and how she's dealing with the consequences of that. But at the same time, kind of keeps you guessing, did she now actually commit this murder, or didn't she? I enjoyed it. That was the mysterious part for me. The ending kind of blew me away a little bit. Kind of, sort of. I can't really say anything about it because we totally spoiled the book. But I really enjoyed it. If you have not yet read Allegedly, I actually heard about this one from Megan from Rogers Reads. I'll leave her channel down below. If you have not yet read Allegedly, you need to go do so. The second prompt for the word mystery is to show us a book on your TBR that you have been anticipating for a while or that you've had for a while. I'm actually going to show you a mystery book. And that's The Husband's Secret by Leanne Moriarty. I've had this on several of my TBRs in the last year. I just haven't read it for some reason, but I really do want to. This one follows a girl named Cecilia, and Cecilia is the mother of three children, and she is the wife of John Paul. John Paul has written her a letter for the event that he dies that she should find and open, but she finds it before he dies. And so this letter reveals all kinds of secrets and what have you. Leanne Moriarty writes really good mystery books. I've read Big Little Lies of hers, which was a murder mystery. So I'm very excited to read this one. I just haven't done it for some reason. If anybody wants to buddy read this with me, let me know in the comments below because this is another one that I have to get done soon. And the last two prompts have to do with the word madness. The first one is show us a book with a psychotic character. If you have watched any of my videos, in the past. You will know that I'm going to go with Kevin from We Need to Talk About Kevin. Kevin is a boy who commits a school shooting and we follow his life told through the mo his mother Ava who was trying to figure out if his psychoticness has anything to do with her. This is a really good complicated book that I recommend for anybody who enjoys these kinds of books. Well, what I liked about this one is it really deals with grief and grief writing and I've been kind of dabbling in grief writing myself the past couple years. So I, I, I love this book. G go read it. And the last prompt kind of has to do with March Madness, which is college basketball, I think. That's where the mystery March Madness came from. Anyway, so this prompt is to show us a book that features a sport. And guys, uh, I don't have any. So I'm counting Harry Potter because Quidditch is a sport. Alright, so that wraps it up for this quick little tag. I'm not going to tag anybody because I don't know who actually did March Mystery Madness this month. But if you did and you want to do this tag, I tag you. Go do it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you have not yet, I would love for you to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.